car. I, I, I don't even know what kind of car that was. I just pulled out my camera because other people were filming it. It's funny, like, anytime I'm with my friends here in Japan, they're always like, look at that car, look at this car. Oh my gosh, so that's an X340Z with turbo attached. And I'm just like, yo, I have, like, that, you're speaking a different language to me. I have no idea what that means. I couldn't give a single shit less about guitars. You get guitars <laughs> about cars. I couldn't possibly care any less about cars. Another random tangent here, but you know how many people say, I could possibly care less? Dude, I could care less about thing. That's not the saying. The saying is, I couldn't care less about thing. Because you care so little that you could not possibly care any less than that. When people say, I could care less about that, it means you, like, you could actually, you have the ability to care less. That means that you care some about it. So if you say, I could care less, you're a dumbass. You're an idiot. But anyways, what was I going to make this video about? Oh yeah, someone commented on one of my YouTube videos recently and asked, what do Japanese people think of Americans? And I apologize, I didn't write your name down when you, when you posted that comment. I should have. Um, and I'm not going to go back and look for it right now because that's going to take a long time. But regardless, shout out to you. You know who you are. I'm sure other people have this question as well. What do Japanese people think of Americans? Now, contrary to to popular belief, Japanese people do not hate Americans for bombing the ever-loving shit out of them nearly a hundred years ago. From my experience, Japanese people overall, they think Americans are pretty cool. Like legit, like, like in terms of like the foreigner ranking in Japan, like Americans are up there, up there for sure. I mean, I think, I would think that above Americans are probably like Italians and maybe like French people. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily Italians and French people actually, but maybe Italy and France. Like Japanese people love going to Italy. They love going to France. And if I ever ask them if like they have interest in going to America, like if they want to travel there, they always say like, "Oh, it sounds cool, but it sounds a little scary because of like uh, like the news and all the shit like that and the gun violence." Of course, like and I can't really blame them for that. So whatever. But uh, yeah, Americans are pretty high up there in terms of like how Japanese people perceive them. But you have to keep in mind, that does not mean they want to be your friend. They love Americans from afar. They love Marvel, they love Apple, they love Nike. They love American products, they love American media. They think Americans are cool and they, they think they will say that Americans like actors and actresses are beautiful. But that does not mean that they want to be your friend or that they want to be in like a, a romantic relationship with you because often people are like oh I hear that Japanese people love Americans it's probably gonna be super easy for you to date out there and make friends I mean for the for the Japanese people that speak English and have been overseas which is a small amount of Japanese people yeah sure but for the people that are just just normal everyday people here yeah they think you're cool I'm sure and they like you and they don't disrespect you for sure but they do not necessarily want to be your friend. They, they, in my experience, prefer a little more to stick to their own kind and, and people that speak their language fluently. So, so that, that's generally been my experience with Japanese perceptions of Americans. They usually say, oh, America, kakui, oh, so cool. Um, and then like with the whole like war thing and the bombing, I haven't heard any young people mention that at all or, or say anything about that. So I don't think they really give a fuck about that anymore. And I have heard actually two different old people have brought that up to me, like people who are around at that time, <laughs> legit, which is crazy because I was expecting it to go way worse. But it was two old men, separate times actually. One of them was the sushi chef at a sushi place that I was eating. And the other guy was just hanging out in a park one time and he just like asked me if I was American and he said he wanted to thank me for being American. I was like, for what? And then he was saying that like, I mean, you guys can, you guys, don't, don't shoot the messenger, right? Right, don't shoot me. I'm just saying what this guy said. So I'm not saying this is right or wrong. I don't know, like I don't know too much about the issue overall. Like I can kind of see both sides. But this guy said that basically if America didn't bomb the ever living shit out of Japan back then, that they would be like China is today. And like, if you know anything about Japan, like they kind of hate China now. And it's like, they're so glad that, at least this guy was saying, like they're so glad that we bombed the shit out of them and then came into Japan and like, a little bit like, you know, it instilled like um, the Republican or Democratic thought and like capitalism a little bit more. 
Um, so he was saying that like they're very thankful for that and he's happy that we bombed them, which was actually crazy. And then actually this guy that in the sushi restaurant said basically the same exact thing. He was like, oh, Americans are so awesome. Ever since I was young, like we look up, we look up to Americans. We're so thankful that Americans protect us and take care of us here, you know, because like Japan doesn't really have like a military and basically like America is acting as like their, their protector. So it's just kind of funny because like young people, will, not young Japanese people, like young foreigners and shit will say like, oh, they, they hate Americans there. Like Americans are assholes. They cause all this trouble. And yeah, and like, yeah, maybe they are. And maybe they do cause some trouble, but it's just funny because some of the old people, at least the two out of two old people I've met, like think America's awesome. And like, they're like, so thankful that Americans are here and in their country and shit. So I just, I thought that was interesting. And I'm, like I said, small sample size, so I could be completely wrong, but at least from my experience, Japanese people think Americans are really cool. Like they rank pretty high up there, like on the foreigner, on the foreigner uh, totem pole. The other foreigners that are here generally hate Americans though. Um, and I don't know if that's the fault of Americans, probably partially, or also the fault of like the media and the news. Cause something we have to keep in mind is like everyone in the world watches American news and, and see, not watches American news, but in their news, they get like American news, right? So everyone knows what's going on in America, but Americans don't watch everyone else's news. So like everyone has an opinion on me, like anywhere I go, it's like I, I, I introduce myself to someone or whatever. And they're like, oh, where are you from? And I'm just like, hey, yeah, I'm from America. And then they're always like, like if it's a European person, like nine out of 10 times, they're like, oh, wow, America. Oh, so, oh, so cool. Oh, so, wow, you must, you must be so cocky. You must be so arrogant or like whatever. I'm just like, bro, I literally just said hello. Like, what the fuck? Like they just start going, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. But like I said, something we have to remember is like, I don't fucking know what's going on in your country. I don't fucking care about what's going on in Romania, right? Because you guys aren't doing anything worth commenting on. So like if I meet you and I'm just being respectful and normal, and I'm just like, hey, what's up, yo, uh, yeah. And you ask, I don't even say, hey, I'm American. Like, what the fuck? Like you act like that's what I did. I'm just talking to you like a normal person with respect. And then you're like, where are you from? And I'm like, yo, I'm American. And then people are always like, oh, wow, this guy, oh. Like that's little dick energy, right? That is little dick energy. Because the thing is about like betas, right, and, and people with little dicks, it's like they have to comment on the person doing better than them or that has, or the, at least they perceive as having more than them or, or being better than them, right? Even if that person isn't doing anything directly to them. It's because what they're doing is they're trying to chop you down because they feel like they're inferior to you because they want you to get on their level and they can't compete and give themselves confidence to boost themselves up and get better themselves instead they do the little weaselly snaky bitch little dick energy thing and they just try to chop down that other person because it takes a lot less energy and a lot less courage to just chop someone else down than it does to take the time and effort to build yourself up or or just 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 mind your own business you know so i i find that funny i don't have anything against europeans like i met plenty of cool europeans but uh the europeans that just like talk shit about me for being american for no reason it's just like wow like i said it's little dick energy I'm not worried about what you're doing, but for some reason you guys always have my name in your mouth. Y'all always, y'all always commenting on me being American for, for no reason. I'm not, I'm not doing anything to you. I'm not talking to you. So really random rant. Didn't even mean to talk about that in this video, but I'm here in Shibuya. I, I hate Shibuya. Like I, I hate Shibuya. There are way too many foreigners here, way too many drunk people. It's, it's too loud. I'm an old man. I like staying in my apartment or like going to the gym or like being in nature. Like this is this is really loud. I'm on a two day fast right now, by the way, also. So I'm I'm, I'm maybe I'm a little more grumpy. Maybe I went went in on Europeans more than I should have. So I apologize for that. But I'm just gonna blame it on me being on a two day fast. So yeah, whatever. All right. My name's Young James. Thanks for watching, guys. Y U N G J A M E Z. Send me a message on Instagram if you want to talk some shit. Say what's up. Tell me I'm ugly. Tell me you hate me for being American, go right ahead. I appreciate all the interactions I'm getting. Send me five dollars on PayPal, which is in the description or also on the screen right here. If you want to join my Discord, do not forget to add your Discord username in the little description thing. All right, peace out and uh, go fuck your mother.